Good morning. I had a better sleep last night. I am so sorry I didn't speak much on camera yesterday. I wasn't feeling too good, so I kind of took it steady. Um, it was quite a climb. It was very, very hot yesterday, and it was a heavy water carry as well. And it's always the way when you come out of town and you've got a bag full of food. So I am sorry I didn't speak much yesterday, but I got to camp last night. And oh my gosh, I had such an amazing dinner. I made, um, I think I videoed it all anyway. But I did some couscous and some grits mixed together. I did half a head of broccoli chopped up. I did nutritional yeast, a little bit of salt and pepper, olive oil and a whole block of tofu. <laughs> so there's so much food. But I think my body needed it. It needs some good nutrition and it needed filling up a little bit. Because like I say, I think when you're not feeling so good, you tend not to eat as much. So I really enjoyed that last night and then I settled down, had a good sleep. I think I was asleep before eight o'clock last night. And then this morning I got up about five and I left camp just after six. So I'm heading to a water source this morning, which is about 10 miles away from where my camp was. So I'm hoping to get there probably about 11ish, I think, maybe half 11 and fill up on water because I've got about a 19 mile water carry again. <laughs> it's always the way. So I'll probably do half of that today and then the other half again tomorrow like I've done this morning. But oh my goodness, it's, it feels so different this morning. It's, it's funny here out on trail. Some days you can feel a bit low or not so good and your, your energy levels are really low. But then the next morning you'll wake up and it's funny how quickly the body recovers and heals itself out here because I think at home if you're not feeling good it can last a few days but I don't know if it's some kind of instinct that kicks in knowing that you just have to do it so therefore you just crack on and get on with it but I think that's what happens it's like it's got this super fast way of healing out here so far anyway it's, it's been working for me so I'm really looking forward to today because oh my gosh there's so much shade up here <laughs> I'm above 6,000 feet and all around me you can probably see all the trees um, so I've literally got this terrain for quite a little while this morning whereas yesterday it was all open and um, I think that's what I found hard hard because it, you just you're so exposed out here when it's hot there's no shelter and as much as carrying an umbrella helps it doesn't completely get rid of it so yeah I'm feeling happy this morning feeling good again and ready to crack it on I've gone about eight miles now, so I've still got another two miles to water. Oh my gosh, I've not talked much today because it is just so hot. Wow, this rock is so colourful. It looks like a piece of artwork. All the different colours, the reds, the yellows, the oranges. It's amazing. Wow. That is quite something when you walk around the corner.
was just walking along minding my own business and I just saw this beige colour running through the bush. It did freak me out a little bit, <laughs> but it's just these little guys. There's a couple of them here. Now this is something they don't warn you about on the PCT. I literally put my tent up, went to the top of the hill to take a picture, came back and this is what I was faced with. I hadn't put my fly up, all my stuff was inside the tent, but I had to get in the tent to get my stuff and I couldn't pack it away because they were all over the place. So what I had to do is it took me about half an hour to clear the door to be able to dive into the tent and I quickly zipped up. <laughs> But then once I was in, I realised I couldn't get out again because there was no way of getting them away from the door without them getting all over me. So I was literally held hostage in the tent. And they warn you about things like rattlesnakes and bears and mountain lions. But it was the ants that got me terrified. It was like a, oh, it was like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> 